Hi, this is Dave from Heads Up Health, and in this video, we're going to show you how to connect and configure Apple Health with your Heads Up account. There's a lot of moving parts and pieces here, so hopefully we can clear up any confusion with this video. So to get started, just start with signing in if you've got an account or signing up anywhere on our homepage if you're a new user. And we're going to start on the dashboard. And just like connecting any consumer device or app, we start at Connect Data, and then we navigate to Connect Devices and Apps. The process is the same for Apple Watch or Apple Health. So we're going to start by connecting Apple Health. And the first step is to create an account with Human API. And Human API is an app that will sit on your iPhone, and it will be able to take data from Apple Health and send it to your Heads Up account. So it works almost like a middleman between Apple Health and Heads Up. So go ahead and create an account and we recommend using the same username and password that you use to sign up, sign into Heads Up Health just for consistency. And once you create your account with Human API, they'll send you an email and the email should be checked from your phone. It will have a link to download the Human API app. So we'll get to that in a second. Let's finish the connection within Heads Up Health. As soon as I close this, we're going to get prompted to add any sources supported by Apple Health to our dashboard. And you can see the ones here that are grayed out are already on my dashboard. These ones down here are not, so I can pick which ones I want to add to my dashboard. I'll just pick them all for now. We can always remove these sources or add them back whenever we want. So you can see it's added a bunch of sources here to my dashboard. Let's say, for example, that I don't want blood oxygen. I'll get rid of that one. And let's say I want to get rid of heart rate. I can delete that. And let's get rid of height. So you can delete. And then if you want to add them back at any time, just use the Add Widget button. And you can add them back whenever you want. So that's the initial setup within Heads Up. Next, we want to configure the iPhone to send data. And let's start with the most basic example, which is just taking data on steps from Apple Health and sending it to Heads Up. The iPhone is automatically tracking steps for us, and it's a very common metric that people want to configure. So first step in the process is to open Apple Health, and we want to start on the Sources tab down here. And to pull steps, the first thing we want to do is open the Human API source, and just make sure Human API can collect steps data from Apple Health and send it to Heads Up. So all we have to do is turn on steps. And then we want to open the Human API app. And we want to navigate to the Timeline tab down here. And we just want it to pull down to force a refresh. Every time we want to sync data between Apple Health and Heads Up, we just need to come to the Timeline tab, do a refresh, and once the data is showing up within the Human API app, you'll be able to see it within your Heads Up account. So if I navigate back to Heads Up, you can see my step count today at 908. And here within the steps widget, it's showing 908 from Apple Health. So that's the most basic example. A couple other use cases that we want to cover. Many of our users are using third-party apps to collect data, and these apps can communicate with Apple Health. So let's take a look at a couple examples. A very common app that people use is Sleep Cycle for tracking sleep. And I've got that here on my phone. Let's say we want to configure Sleep Cycle to send data to Heads Up through Apple Health. Once again, just open Apple Health and we want to navigate to the Sources tab. The first thing we want to do is make sure that Sleep Cycle is writing to Apple Health. That's the first step here. So let's enable that. And then, just like steps, we want to configure Human API to be able to collect the sleep data and send it to Heads Up. So we just navigate down to Sleep Analysis and turn that on. And then we can open up the Human API app and do a refresh and make sure that sleep data is showing up on the phone. And you can see down here I've got sleep reporting in. And once it reports into the Human API app, we can check it within Heads Up. And you can see that my sleep data is here, and it's coming from HealthKit. And now we've got those two configured. We'll look at one more example. I've got a blood sugar tracking app on my phone called iGluco, and iGluco can write to Apple Health. So again, first step in the process is just navigate to the Sources tab. We want to make sure iGluco 
is writing to Apple Health. And then we want to make sure that Human API can connect and pull the blood glucose data and send it to Heads Up. So we just enable it within Human API. And just like the other sources, we'd go back to the Human API app and do a refresh. So that's how you configure Apple Health with your Heads Up account. We use the Human API app as the middleman. Now, we don't support all the sources available within Apple Health. We're adding more on a regular basis. So if there's a source within Apple Health that you want us to support that's not in there yet, just let us know and we'll work on adding it for you. Lastly is if you do need to troubleshoot for any reason, let's say for example the data is not showing up in your timeline tab for some reason, one troubleshooting tip is just to do a force quit on the Human API app and on Apple Health. So just double tap the home screen twice and then just slide these apps up. So I'm going to force quit Human API, I'm going to force quit Apple Health, I may even force quit iGluco if I'm having trouble syncing that. And then I can just open them up again, and that will force these apps to reinitialize. So I'll open the Human API app again and do a sync. If that's not working, you can try rebooting the iPhone. And if you're still having trouble, just shoot us an email, support at headsuphealth.com. Thank you.